But let's begin this half hour with more fuel in the heated debate over work and family, dropped by one of the big power players on Wall Street. In a moving op-ed in the New York Times, former Lehman Brothers CFO Aaron Callen opens up about the regret she feels for putting her career ahead of her personal life, the opposite of what you're hearing from other top women in business right now. NBC's Ann Curry spoke with Callan exclusively. Aaron Callan is a surprising new voice in the growing national discussion about women and work. Lean in, take the seat at the table, tell people you want to lead, whatever it might be, but just be aware of what may come from that. She was once one of the most powerful women on Wall Street, CFO of Lehman Brothers. She completely disappeared from the public eye after the bank's demise and says she still can't discuss it for legal reasons. But in this exclusive interview, she is adding her voice to the ideas of Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg, presented in speeches like this commencement address at Barnard College. Do not lean back, lean in. Put your foot on that gas pedal and keep it there until the day you have to make a decision and then make a decision. Was there something in the message that Sheryl Sandberg was sending out that sparked you to want to speak out now? Yes, and also in terms of some of the reaction to that message. And I would probably look at myself as someone who lived that message. And I did achieve great success in my career. I'm just trying to provide a bit of what I'll call a warning label that hey, there's something else to think about as you're leaning in, so to speak. You have leaned in. <laughs> I leaned in far, very far. I've had many young women over time that I've tried to give advice to, guidance to, and I would always be very honest and say, don't do it like me. You mentioned consequences. What are they? A lot of things during my career that I missed out on, you know, uh, events, relationships with people, birthday parties, just spending time with friends and family and enjoying it and enjoying myself. There was a big thing I missed out on, which is I, I didn't have children. Now 47, Erin Callen is trying to have children and offering a life lesson she wishes someone had offered her. I wanted to be a little bit sort of a cautionary tale. Like, you can achieve, you can accomplish, you can have an amazing career with great success, even in a male-dominated field that I did. But be careful what you wish for and the choices that you make. That was Ann Curry reporting, and you can see more of Ann's story on Rock Center with Brian Williams. That's tonight, 10, 9 central time right here on NBC. So much discussion right now, it seems, in the last couple of months about this difficulty people are having, men and women, in finding balance between work and life. And it actually some new research shows that this is not a problem exclusive to women, not at all. A lot of dads are confessing to feeling some guilt about not spending enough time at home. We're going to have the results of that research to talk about in our That's next right. hour. Almost 50 percent of fathers say they feel guilty not spending enough time with their children. So we'll talk about how you could perhaps alleviate that guilt.